everyone, Joe from Central Jersey Conrail and Inscale, and welcome back. So before we get started, I just want to go over a few things. First, the episode's running a little late this month. Uh, this is actually for the November release because uh, you know my family got the flu, and also I've been waiting on parts on back order. The parts have come in, and uh, we're all healthy now, so I was able to get the video done. Second, the YouTube channel's been doing great. Episode 9 came out and it has over 1,400 views and we're up to 277 subscribers. So, with that being said, to pay you everyone back and also to celebrate, I'm doing two episodes this month. Episode 10 is going to cover the construction of the electrical cabinet and episode 11 is going to be the uh, installation of the DCC system. So with that being said, sit back, relax and enjoy as we get started on the electrical cabinet. Now I insert my first drawer and test it.
turn it upside down, and I drilled holes, and then I inserted T-nuts. And then I used hex nuts as legs for the cabinet. This way that I could level the cabinet. This really helped here because the concrete floor had a pitch in it. Now I installed some 2x4s on the back side and then I put two terminal strips onto the 2x4s to connect all the electrical components. Here I'm taking the time to use some uh, wire staples just to uh, neaten up all the cables so it's not a big bird's nest back there. Now I'm going to dress up the cabinet with some uh, masonite. I just use some uh, PL Premium to glue it down and then I use my brad nailer to uh, nail it in. Eventually we'll come back and we'll paint the cabinet and I'll install front doors using plexiglass. To account for heat buildup, I'm going to install fans on the left side. We'll cover that when we build the power supplies in the second drawer. We'll also come back and paint the cabinet to match the color of the fascia on the layout. So this is going to wrap up the electrical cabinet. So now all we got to do is put our components and mount them into the drawers. the electrical cabinet. So as I said in the video, I have no experience building uh, furniture or any kind of cabinetry or anything like that. So this was kind of a new venture for me. But what I did was I just sat down, I drew out my plan, made measurements, and just took my time putting it together, made sure everything fit right. And I was very pleased with the outcome. Uh, I think it's gonna be very useful. Those drawers, as you see, they slide out and uh, you'll be able to take them to the workbench and work at the bench uh, when you have to do any kind of repairs. So that's going to wrap up episode 10. Hope you enjoyed following along. Why don't you click on over and watch episode 11 and see how we put the DCC system into the cabinet. All right, thanks for watching.